Please welcome onto court number two in the mixed doubles, representing Malaysia, Chan Peng Soon and Lei Pei Jing, and representing Singapore, Danny Krisnanta and Vanessa Neo. So we return to uh, mixed doubles action, the last of the quarterfinals. The winners to play Chris Langridge and Heather Olver of England after their wins over the Canadians and Nathan. I'm really looking forward to this. It's the number one Singaporean pair who are the number two seeds, Vanessa Neo and Danny Krisnanta. It's the Malaysians who aren't seeded at all because they're a recent pair, therefore their ranking is way down at 48, but they're far better than that. That's Lai Pei Jing and Chan Peng Soon. They've played each other twice this year. The first was in the Malaysian Open. On that occasion, the Singaporeans won 15-21, 21-18, 21-19. Then, of course, they met in the crucial fifth and deciding match of the semi-final of the mixed teams here. And then it was the Malaysians who came from a uh, game down to win 17-21. 21-12, 21-14. So both those matches have been thrillers. Well, it's set up again for another classic. When you play a pair and it's so tight like these two have had previous meetings, you almost walk on court expecting another really close match. And if you're expecting a close match, it normally delivers. There we are, confirmation that the Adcocks will play Blair and Bankia and that Langridge and Olver await the winner of, the, of this match. And I think it would be fair to say that all three of those home nation pairs will be very delighted that these two are going to these two pairs are playing each other and only one of them is going to make it through well certainly at this stage this would have been a really difficult quarter final draw for any of the higher seeds certainly everybody looking at the draw would have seen chan there from malaysia as the unseeded player his previous partner go i believe is injured but they you know they're very high in the ranking they've been in the top eight for the last three or four years so he's a quality mixed player but he's got a new young partner now yeah like Jing just 21 years of age Chan is 26 both of them born in Malaysia in contrast Danny Chris Nanta moved to Singapore from Indonesia in 2013 he's 25 years of age Vanessa Neo born in Singapore, 27 years of age. They're ranked number 10 in the world in mixed doubles. As I mentioned, their opponents 48, but that's purely because, as Nathan was mentioning, Chan's normal partner, Go, had a knee surgery just back in May, and obviously not fully fit. The Malaysians, well, they had to work against the uh, brother and sister combination of the Leyden Davises from New Zealand, winning that one in uh, three games and uh, then very comfortable against the uh, Sri Lankans. 21-13, 21-15, they won that one. And Kristanta and Neo, they uh, started off by beating the Canadians. Liu and Lee, 21-13 and 21-8, and then they beat the Australians Tam and Somerville 21-9, 21-10. Kelly Hoare has Thank moved up from the service judge's position to the umpire's chair, which means that in the service judge position, it's Lawrence Bester from South Africa. So if uh, this match is half as good as their two previous encounters, you're in for a thriller. Yeah, certainly expect this to be fast. We saw in the first mixed doubles this afternoon a lot of control by the Adcocks, a lot of net exchanges taking the pace out. I expect this game to start fast. A lot of drives, a lot of mid-court exchanges. Danny Krisnanta, very quick and explosive into the mid-court. Chan from Malaysia. I think he's the player who has to input the control into this game. 
He's got the younger, less experienced partner. And I think he has to take control of this partnership today if they're to progress through against the higher seeded pair. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Danny Crescenta, Vanessa Neo, Singapore. Well, I'm not sure if we have the Malaysian's favourite supporter left, in the arena Chen who was here for the Pei team Jing event, Lai, their professional cheerleader. And I can see a couple of Malaysian flags in the crowd. Light, Always supported Danny wherever Pisenta, they are in the world. Lai serving to Krishnanta. Well, a clever first One, attack by no. Chan. Just reversing the attack into the centre of the court. Over. I'm sure the Singapore One, no. pair in their pre-match build-up would have been looking to isolate Chan's young female partner, Lai as the weak element on Two, court. One. She doesn't have enough experience at this top level. They did play a very close one earlier on in the team event. Play. But they certainly will be looking to isolate her at the net area. Vanessa Neo, a lot hey. more experienced yeah. at this level. Service over. Two all. Good anticipation by Lai. Three. Yeah, two. moving forward. The net shot was very loose by Neo. Oh. Service fault oh. called. Service over. Being struck Three, above the, the lower rib, lowest rib. Yes, that one again. So difficult to tell how high they're being struck, but I did see Chan was struggling with his short serve in previous matches and in the team event. So he was tending to flick a, a high majority of his serves. Four, three. Both men struggling. Well, it's Chris Nanta that time flicking it wide. She even saw that on defence. She didn't even make an attempt to go for the Five, shuttle. It was three. on the floor before she realised she'd chosen the forehand grip. And the smash was down the backhand side. Looking at Chris Nanta, he almost looks like he's got legs that would go around very quickly in the velodrome next door. <laughs> yes. Well, that's, there. that's the reason he has them for the jump smashes Service and the power. Over. Very strong athletic player. Yes, thighs, thighs and calves well developed, shall we say. Yeah. Rather ambitious. Service over. Six, four. Jen. Certainly at the moment, Lai is more than holding her own. Oh, she's Seven. really competing well Four. at the net. Jenny. Giving as good as she's Jenny. getting right at the net there against the more experienced opponent, Neo. Oh. And 
this is a big opportunity, the Commonwealth Games, for the young lady from Malaysia. Getting the opportunity to play Eight, with the strongest four. mixed doubles player in Malaysia in Chan. Really a great chance for her. If they're to go on and get a medal here to establish herself as his partner for the future moving forward. Ten. Well, this is uh, Nine, four. overwhelming in, in favour of Malaysia at the moment. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect either pair to build an early five-point lead. Slightly loose serve by Chan Five, again. Nine. Struggling a little with the short serve, the low serve. Hey. What is impressing me is that. She's constantly anticipating and moving rather like Gabby Adcock. Look, she's on the move straight away, really closing in, taking the shuttle so early. Yeah, she's really active at the net. It's really good to see in the first half of this game. Both pairs are attempting the cross courts. They're just not quick enough onto the shuttle. They're not as early as the players were in the first mix today. So they're having to take the shuttle below net height. And the shuttle, that means the shuttle will be coming up. And the ladies are able to get on top of the shuttle. Ten. That's a very convincing lead for the Malaysians. Yes. The interval. You can see the athleticism in Chan when he gets the opportunity in mid court just leaping straight off the spot, two-footed into the attack. And again, doing the talking. Former world junior champion. An encouragement by Chan for his partner. Really made a really strong start, the Malaysian pair. Yeah, that's the new Queen Dong. Court two, 20 coach. seconds, court two, 20 seconds. And it's Vanessa Neo who needs to step up the speed and the quality at the net. At the moment, she's being dominated by her younger Malaysian opponent. 11-5. Great smash this time by Danny Chris Nanta. Not always choosing to smash cross court, but the woman goes straight down the line. So accurate. But it's good to see the youngest player on court being really active, getting himself involved, trying to make a presence felt on the court. Not shying away from the big occasion. That's impressive again. Service over. 12, 6. Again, on the move to the net. In mixed doubles, the ladies always got to be on the move across the court. Can't be static. If the, if the ladies on the court stay not moving on the centre of the court, it means that the guy behind has to cover, cover both sides. So it always has to be moving yeah. along that front line. Yeah. Chan taking the backhand 13, so early there. Six. No chance for Chris Nanta to cover that amount of distance.
Very much one-way traffic. This was certainly not what I anticipated. Well, the Malaysians have obviously worked hard on their pre-game tactic, what they were going to do, the weapons they were going to use against the Singapore pair. And at the moment, the game plan's working perfectly. For the second time in the game, Chan is called on the flick serve for striking the shuttle too high. And again, discussing with the umpire why the fault was given. And again, Silver. moving into the midcourt. Changed seven. the direction really well with the backhand push. And then leapt forward around the head. That's one of his major strengths, his speed forwards onto the shuttle. Maintaining their advantage, their lead in this first game. Service over. Good service return from Eight Chris Nanta. Just gave them the edge in the rally. Those first three shots so crucial in doubles. Perfect judgment. Service over. 16, 8. Well, Chan controlling the game from the rear court. His partner doing the job perfectly in the forecourt. I have to say, it's the first time I've seen this young Malaysian girl in this Commonwealth Games. I've not seen her in any previous tournament. I would say it's really impressive to see a young player who hasn't got the big stage experience coming out and playing the way she is today. Feel Nathan that she's grown 13, in confidence as eight. a result of what happened in the team competition because there was so much pressure on them. It was two games all. Malaysia looking for a hat trick of gold medals in danger of going out at the semi final stage. They were a game down. Well, of course, I mean, such pressure coming from Malaysia to take the team gold as well. They took it four years ago. They were probably favourites again this time, but they had to come through a really tight match against Singapore, just to make the final. But that will have given her incredible confidence. 18, they continue eight. to utterly dominate this opening game. From three all, they've won 15 of the last 20 points. There's another one. 19. Well, eight. Chan reverting back to the low serve. Having been called twice for a service fault on the flick serve, I actually think it's an advantage for him because he's really playing quickly in the midcourt at the moment and finding the gaps on the side of the Singapore pair. Nanta with a mistake on the drop shot. The pace points. really dropped out the Eight. game in that rally. I think the Singapore pair resigned here to losing this first game and already thinking how they're going to change it for the second. Game 
Yeah, I think they were very happy to get this game First over with. Game Have a little chat June, with the coach. July, and start eight. anew. 21 8 in just 14 minutes. Certainly not something I expected. Well, this is where it's important the Singapore coach has got a minute or so to pick his troops up. Really, they'll have been shot by that first game. The combination of the Malaysians has been so effective with Chan skills in the mid-court and at the back of the court and Lai playing so exceptionally well and there we are defending well when she has to. Oh, they've been impressive in the first game. In the break there, we saw the Malaysian pair being talked to as a pair, but well, the Singapore pair actually being spoken to almost individually at the start of the break there. I think the Singapore pair need to get themselves together and have a little change of tactic. They need to come up with something, a different game plan. Court two, twenty seconds, court two, twenty seconds. Well, Second I suppose game. the only consolation for the Singaporeans Level. is that in the two Play. previous oh. matches, the pair that oh. have won the first game have lost the next two. But that's uh, clutching at straws given what happened in that first game. Well, it's oh. going to have to be a complete reversal. Service over. Of style and form One, and ticks to change from what happened in that first game. But momentum's a funny thing in sport and it can oh, change around very quickly. Service over. One all. Over. Chris Two, Manza with a big cross-court smash. This time the defence doesn't work for the Malaysian girl and the Singapore pair trying to fight their way into the lead here early in the second game. Oh. Davis over. Two all. see the hand signals just before the serving. Yep. Yep. A good attack by the Singapore pair. Getting it with the Three hand all. signals with serving. Lots of different I think a lot of different things are used in badminton. People tend to talk, a lot of people talk, talking about the first three shots, where they're going to do, where they're going to serve, what they're going to look for with the third shot after the return. With the hand signals, I think it, you can only say which serve you're doing. You can't move any further into the rally. Service over. Four, three. Keeps missing the sideline at the moment, Vanessa Neo. Chris Nanta 
leaping back off the spot. No steps needed at all. Attacking straight back at the server. Now this is better. Now they're just starting now. Five, four. In that first game, the Malaysians were attacking at will. Danny Krisnanta really starting to try and be more aggressive, trying to get the shuttle going downwards as often as possible. It does have a dangerous attack. And I think that one's drifting wide again. And that is three Service mistakes over. down the same line Five by more. Vanessa Neo. Well, we have a moment to continue the, on uh, the adjoining court. Raj Youssef for well, England has beaten Kieran Merrilies of Scotland in the men's Play. singles. 21-14, 21-7. Youssef, the silver medalist from Delhi four years ago. Service over. 6-5. One just takes the tape Service but falls over. back on the side of the Singapore pair. Six but a much more competitive game here in the second. I think the Singapore pair are just fighting a bit harder, fighting, scrapping for the points. Sometimes when the tactics you walked into the game with aren't, wor aren't working, the best way out of the slump is just fight, scrap for every single oh. point. Service fault called. If you can't and find a tactic. Service Another service fault Seven, called. Six. Against Chan when he goes for the flick serve. That's what? three in the match so far. Yeah, well, when you've been called once, you know, you might lower it slightly, but now he's being called three times. He should definitely be lowering that flick serve. He's not gaining a big advantage by hitting his flick serve so high either. Clever play by Chan Service from Malaysia. Seven all. Little net exchange. He took the gamble, moved forward, anticipated the block by Chris Nanta. Pushed straight back into the body. Thanks, Danny. Simple net shot mistake, giving the Malaysians the lead here in the second game. No, I think she's serving in the middle and she's going to move to her left. There she goes. Oh, well, I was wrong. You can't just state which serve you're doing. We've moved on to double hand signs Whoa, now. Hey. Well, I, I've had eight days to work Nine, this out. I seven. think I've cracked the formula. Now, you, you tell me which way, what she's going to do here. No, nope. maybe they're just done. Oh, there we go. Two, flick, flick high. OK. I'll we'll go for flick high. The only issue I have with this, yes, your partner knows, but if I'm an opponent, I could have my coach sitting on this side of the court reading the hand signals. <laughs> So I think I think that you can gain an advantage as, well, as you, could, an you can always watch on the giant screen, of course. Yep. Well, if they've seen too high, Danny may well jump back to this one, but it's low. Yeah. The mistake by Neo Ten, opens up a three-point lead. Well, maybe they have their own code, and nobody can understand it apart from the two players on court. Even their own coaches don't know what it is. <laughs> I think she's moving to her right this time. It's sign language. Nope, no, I got it totally wrong. Yep. Oh, that's 
that's better from uh, Vanessa Neo. And they need to close the gap here. Eight, ten. That's a quality shot. This time, not quite Nine, moving ten. along that front line, just stretching around the head, and the shuttle drifts wide. And the Singapore oh. pair trying to close the gap before the interval. Slightly off balance around the head by Chan. Ten all. Danny Chris Nanza saw the opening. It was a backhand high defence on the forehand side. And this is a big point to see who goes in. Oh. The interval with the momentum. Chan! There the sofa. And 11, it's the Malaysian 10. pair interval. who entered the interval in the lead. Just half a game away from upsetting the second seeds. Yep, but it is only a one-point advantage. 10-7, you really thought they were pulling away as they did in the first game. This is how they grab that one-point advantage. Right, Chan with the explosive jump. Yeah, Not the tallest of players, but he really gets up high. If you saw where his feet landed there, right on the uh, double service line, Post not two, deep enough, in fact, well seconds. inside Post the two, double service box. So that lift just not deep enough. But there was an improvement by the Singapore pair. They really did get outplayed in every area in the first game. 11-10. They were fighting hard there. It looked like it might be slipping away, but they've pulled it back. Thank you. Only one point between the two pairs Wait. at 11-10. Oh, surely he'll go for the low serve. He did. I can't say it was a great one, but it worked. 12, 10. No, they got them into the rally, and it was a quality cross-court backhand block by his partner Lai, and the mistake trying to keep the net by Chris Nanta. And the loose cross-court backhand 12. net shot. Opened up the gap for Vanessa Neo just to control the shuttle down. Ah! Well, the return wasn't good enough. A short lift straight down the centre of the court. Gave Danny Chrisnanta the easy smash straight back at the retreating lie. Singapore pair just starting to get on the attack now. I see a little bit more intensity in Chris Nanta's eyes now at the start of the rallies. Three really points in a row for them, and yeah. they move ahead. He's really looking focused now. Aggression with focus, a dangerous combination. Oh, that's remarkable. Almost parallel to the net, that. Well, that one, that one stayed on the tape for a second as it was going over. Hugged the tape there. Beautiful shot. Again. And a strong response now by the Singapore pair. Try it out. Oh. That's a pity. Built that little bit of 14. momentum. 
four straight points to then chuck it away with a service error. to be an extra 5% of power in that smash 15, now. The speed 13. into the smash. He's really aiming right at Lai's defense oh. night oh. now. Play. I don't think the control game was working for the Singapore pair. And he's come out very aggressive from the interval. Well, it was an opportunity 14, for Chris Nanter in the midcourt. The shot was poor, though, when he gave Chan the opportunity to hit it down the line into the space. She read the defence well, moved over, just stretching the racket, was on the stretch forward, not quite in the perfect position. Oh. In. Service over. Well, the Singapore 15, pair don't like the call. 16. On the back line, Chris Nanta asking the umpire if she saw it. No Hawkeye available. It is now available on the top tournaments and the Super Series events. Premier Super Series events. Good intervention by Chris Nanta. And they've slowly but surely worked their way into this match now. Service Service fault called it against Vanessa 15, Neo. 17. And these points are so important when you give away a point with a fault serve. The opponents don't have to do anything to win the point. <coughs> sure, this will be a short serve wide. But it's extremely loose. Easy, easy put away for Chris Nanta on that one. 18-16. Wow, almost flicked that one a little bit high. Well, Chan with the athleticism. Moving from the rear of the court, diving 16. forward. But it's the Singapore pair who are in the ascendancy. Hopper. Well, you did say whoever wins the Hopper. first game doesn't have a great record in this contest in previous matches. Thank you. And the Singapore pair are looking like they may well be going and taking the second game and heading it into a decider Play. once again. Oh. Certainly look that way now. 20 Four game, game points. points. 16. Vanessa Neo in particular has sort of seized the initiative at the net from Young oh. Lai. Service over. 17-20. Well, in these situations, you have to tell yourself it's only three points it's possible. Oh. 
Okay. It isn't now. It's 21-17. We will go to a third and deciding game. Second game won by Danny Constanta, Vanessa Neo. 21-17. One game all. Well, these two pairs do love playing three set matches. We should have expected it. It's hot in the arena this afternoon. Under these lights, Danny is requiring a change of shirt. He's got some strapping on his side there, isn't he? Well, you can see a little bit of tape maybe on the side abdomen. A lot of people do believe that actually this power in a smash only comes from your shoulder and your arm, but you do a lot of twisting in your core, in the abdominal muscles, and a lot of your power, a lot of the big smashes in the world get a lot of their power from their abdomen. I teach young kids who think it's all about arm speed, but it's actually about doing your crunches as well and working on your core. Getting yourself a six pack. Well, we always say it's summer six pack, but in badminton you have to have it all year round. <laughs> I think some of the uh, some of these players, some of the Chinese players, you know, when they're changing shirts, they look like they've got a 10 or 12 pack you know, working the, the muscles on the side side of their uh, stomach incredibly hard. Well, it was a little change of tactics from the Singaporeans that got them right back into it. Being a bit two, more aggressive than Neo in Court particular. Two, 20 seconds taking the initiative away from Lai Peijing at the net. One game all in this last match of this session. The winners to play Chris Langridge and Heather Olver in the semi-finals of the mix. The other semi-final, Chris and Gabby Adcock against Robert Blair and Imogen Bankier. Well, the momentum now with the Singapore pair. As you said, Vanessa Neo more active at the net. Taking Final control game. away from her younger Malaysian opponent. Play. What can the Malaysians respond with at the start of the third here? Well, it's Service a defensive over. mistake, but she'll be One frustrated done. with that. The court was open. It's an early, simple change Two of direction left. on the backhand side by Chan. That's how early he took that straight arm, no wrist involved at all. Service over. One, two. The frame by Lau. <laughs> giving Neo an easy put away. Actually had to control a racket there so it didn't go over the tape. Whoa. Yeah, two things you have to be careful of. If you hit the net, over. you of course lose the point. And if you hit Three, the shuffle one. before it comes on your side of the net, you lose the point. Now you often see players actually brushing across the shuttle when they're killing it so they're not playing the racket forwards, they come across so it's going sideways. Service over. Two, three. The explosive return of Chris Nanta. get from Chan at full stretch. They really kept the Malaysians in the rally there. Four, two. Incredibly athletic to get down to that one. Chris Nanta still had the chance to win the rally. But it's just getting that one back extra every time. That will make your opponents force the mistake. Well, 
the defence was almost off the floor. Service over. By Lau. Three, four. That's what the pressure told in the end by the Malaysian pair. The service error by Chris Nanta. Be frustrated with that. Normally has a reliable short serve. With the flick serve. He's anticipating it. Four, five. Well, it's not the first time we've seen it in the game. The flick by Chan, the explosive movement by Chris Nanza always ends with the smash winner. Two chances Six, now, seven. moving forward onto the shuttle. Six, He's pulled both of them down. This time on the backhand side. Saw the gap, knew the shot he wanted to make. Just couldn't produce. Ah. I can't see this game. It's going to be tight all the way. Not sure I can see one of these two pairs moving away. Fantastic movement, Danny really aggressive, you can hear his shouting as he smashes now. Relieved to get that point, and we're throwing everything at the Malaysian pair on attack. Five, six. They really needed that point, they'd put a lot into it, it would have deflated them after attacking so hard. After the long rally, players just taking an extra second to get their breath back. They're back level. The power play by Chris Nanta is impressive, but he's, he's not actually mixing the pace at all. It's only power. As an opponent, if someone's hitting the same pace at you all the time, you can get used to it. He does hit it hard, but I think the Malaysians are comfortable on defence when they're in position against this smash. Super service return by Light. Seven, six. Just a fraction high, the serve. And that may well be the difference in this third game. The serving quality could be key. Well, if that is the case, then that's a problem for Chan, as he's been the man who's really struggled. Now, what does he do here? Well, I'd like to see him serve low, especially to Vanessa Neo. And there it is. Gets him straight on the attack with a quality low serve. Shows you how important it is. Quality low serve. Gets him straight on the attack. The big attack cross court. And a quick point for the Malaysians to open up a two point gap. Little unlucky. Service over. Oh, she was in position. Seven, the forehand defence. You can 
see just having to pull the racket right across the body. She couldn't quite keep it in. And that is quality by Chris Nanta. We've talked about his power play, but this time he's early in the midcourt. Really early, changing the direction. That is high quality by the Singapore man. again for the kill there was a call of out there by Chan to his partner but she took the shuttle nine eight he did well to retrieve that first one but an easy put away and this is the first time in this final game that the Singaporeans have had the lead albeit by a single point well I think the umpire was talking about the celebrations after the after the points, uh -uh. personally, I don't mind the celebrations. It's only when people are over, overly aggressive over the net towards their opponents. But I think this game's being played fairly, good spirit and hard. Oh, that's a magnificent little block. Ten, eight. Oh, again, he's so early. Rackets out, and he's really finding the angles now with these soft mid-court blo blocks. Ken. Vanessa Neo now crossing the net game. And it's three point advantage for the Singaporeans at the interval. First time they've led at an interval in this match. Well, they're looking the stronger pair now, really dictating the play. Vanessa Neo a lot more involved around the net, looking for the shuttle. Lie unable to dictate like she did in the first game. Seems to be Danny Chris Nanta, who's looking the more powerful of the two men on court at the moment. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Thank you, coach. Well, the next three or four points are crucial for the Malaysian pair. The momentum clearly with the Singapore couple. Vanessa. Can Lai get in, herself involved and get herself level back with Vanessa Neo at the net? <laughs> 11 8, then final game. 11 8, play. Drifts long. Chan's 12, tournament eight. is on the line here, losing in the men's doubles last night to the English pair. It's all or nothing for him in the mixed doubles in this second half of the deciding game. Hold. Well, they almost both went for that overhead. Nine, but fortunately for the Malaysian pair, Vanessa Neo oh. was unable to return. The defensive shot. Oh. What a brilliant little shot. Well, we Ten, said she needed to 12. step up, and that is fantastic touch. 
Absolutely no chance for the Singapore pair to get anywhere near the cross-court forehand net shot. Back in it again, the Malaysian pair. They've come out strong from the interval. Three points in a row for them from 8 12 down. That one has gone. Over the baseline. 13 11. Whoa. Well, the chance was there. He was early. Service over. And the cross court block from 12, Chan 13. was loose. Sometimes those shots, you go up to them and you think they're easier than they are and you just pull it down into the net. A little bit too over-eager to get the shuttle on the floor. Well, again, a really high short serve by Chan, but they're in the rally. And they've won it. And it's 13 apiece. To back backhand mistakes by Chris Nanta. As players, we always hate to make the same mistake twice. It's almost the unwritten rule. As soon as you make one mistake, you're always telling yourself that how to correct it. So to make it a second time. Chan wanted to change his racket. See a string gone but maybe one was about to go and this little courtesy of allowing the player with a fresh racket to just test the tension well all the top players they will have probably eight to ten rackets all the same tension in their bag yeah, yeah. Oh. and a big celebration 14. by Chan as the shuttle drifts long because the Malaysian pair have reversed the score at the interval now and taken the lead. The forehand this time hits the winner. It was open for her. Once more, the lead changes hands. Well, they've played two extremely tight matches in the past. This one looks like it's going the distance. So oh. hard to pick a winner. Ah. Brilliant little shot there from Neo. Just as Lai was racing forward, Six pushed it over her head. 14. Camp with the early return. Big pressure on the return, 15, really 16. reaching forward. Good athleticism leaping back, not allowing the Singapore pair any further ahead. Fifty-five minutes this match has lasted now. Push. That was a good shot by Danny Krasnanta. <laughs> Again, the sustained attack the from the Singapore pair. 18, but it is Chan's serve which putting them under pressure. He does well to get them back in the rally after a loose serve. But the pressure maintained by... 
service over. 17-18. The magical three-point lead. No one can seem to take it at the end of this third game. by Chris Nanta to his partner as she went around the head, but I think the shutter was definitely going to land in. She pushes the forehand as she was moving forward. She has served so well throughout the match, Lai. In the most consistent of all four. 19-18. This time the little push back to Vanessa Neo. The net exchange is won by the Malaysians. Chan on the floor, and it's two match points. Incredible by Chan. 20 match points, 18. I believe that shot was almost on the floor. Well, that's what it means to these players, the chance of a medal, the chance, the Commonwealth title, the Commonwealth medal for them. We said this was Chan's last chance in the games. He's out the doubles. He's diving, fighting for his... Commonwealth chances in the mixed, and he's brought them to match point. It's long. Oh, oh, oh. Stunning uh, stuff. The defence is phenomenal from the Malaysians. Danny Krisnanta has got a 19, big smash and they're 20. retrieving it from less than half court. Well, it's a new shuttle for Danny Krisnanta. Which means it's a little faster. Play. It's man against man. 19-20. But it was that little push from Lai that set up the chance. These two have produced a rather epic contest. For the first time, the pair that wins the first game wins the match, but only just 21-19. In the decider, the second seeds go out. And the new partnership of Chan and Lai are through to the semi-finals. What a fantastic match. The Malaysians burst out the blocks, taking the first game. But we always expected a tight three-set match, and it proved to be the Malaysian pair taking it 21-19 in the decider. And you could see the relief on the faces of both of them. Lai, as her name is, lying down on the floor, exhausted at the end of the match. Yeah, it lasted just over the hour, 62 minutes to be precise. And they're still talking about the tactics afterwards. They will go through, of course, to play uh, the English second pair, Crystal Langridge and Heather Olver in the semi-finals they'll be clear favorites to win that and of course the other semi-final in the top half of the draw is the showdown we've all been looking forward to chris and gabby adcock 
against Robert Blair and Chris's former partner, Imogen Bankier. I think we might have the ticket touts out for that one. If they could bill that as the, the real showdown. Well, it will be a fantastic match. The mixed doubles is really getting exciting now. Both pairs getting a worn reception, a walk-off. Really entertaining match, really full. A lot of power. Danny Kusnans is so fast around the court. The impressive young Malaysian girl, Lai, showing that she's got a bright future with Chan potentially as a partner moving forward and certainly moving forward in this tournament. Yeah, those semi-finals really will be terrific. It's the one event in which we now know the semi-final lineup, completed by Chan and Lai. 21-8, 17-21, 21-19. Now that is the last match of this session. We'll look back to it in just a moment or two. And then the remaining quarterfinals will be in the evening session. And representing Singapore. Well, it really was an expected close match. But it was the Malaysians who jumped out in the first game. Lai dominating the net area. Not showing any, any experience for such a young player. Encouraged by Chan. And she was all over the net area, dominating. A more aggressive second game by Chris Nanta and Neo from Singapore. The second seeds got them back into it. the Malaysians who came back from a deficit in the third game and they were trailing in the mid-game interval the Singapore pair looked the more likely to take the encounter but the Malaysians dug deep some incredible rallies at the end of the third game Danny Chris Nanta giving everything but it was Chan who gave a little bit more diving full length to save the shuttle, and that was what it was taken in the end. And the celebration by the Malaysians. Chan ecstatic, making the semi-finals, giving him 